Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about the Chase Freedom Unlimited Visa card or credit card. And more specifically, we're gonna see if we can add it into our McDonald's app and use it as a payment method. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with the Chase Freedom Unlimited credit card, it's definitely one of the more popular credit cards on the market right now. Basically, I used to have the Chase Slate credit card, if you remember that. And then after having that card for about a year and a half, I received an unsolicited email from Chase letting me know that they're gonna upgrade me to the free unlimited credit card. I guess it has more points and more benefits. I didn't actually apply for it. It looks like it was something that Chase automatically did. I don't know if they did that automatically because of my payment history or if it was because I've had the card for about a year and a half. Needless to say, they sent me this card. It's pretty good, but can we add it into our McDonald's app as a payment method? That's what we're going to find out. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my McDonald's app. It's this red and yellow one right here. If you don't have this app already, be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there, but I'm going to go ahead and open the app now. All right. So I went ahead and opened up the McDonald's app and this is the home screen. And here on the home screen, you're going to see various specials that they're running at the time. Also, if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see the menu line. So you can check out the menu for your local McDonald's. But if you want to try to add your Chase Freedom Unlimited credit card into your McDonald's app, you want to click on this bottom line right here. It's like a some sort of menu tab. There's five options, but you want to choose the one that's on the far right. It's these three little dots. It's called more. I'm going to click there now. All right, I went ahead and clicked there. And here on this screen, you have five options. So here you can go ahead and update your profile settings. You can also check your recent or favorite purchases through the McDonald's app. But if you wanna add the Chase Freedom Unlimited Visa card, you wanna click on profile, which is the top line. I'm gonna click there now. All right, I went ahead and clicked there. And then on this screen, you have three options, personal settings, payment settings, or payment methods, and communications. I'm not too sure what communications is for. That might be to, I guess, message back and forth with McDonald's. But you wanna go ahead and choose the second line payment methods. It has this little credit card icon next to it. It's the second one from the top. I'm going to click there now, All right? I went ahead and click there. Now the McDonald's app is asking for me to choose one or the other options here on the screen. You're going to see all the different payment methods that you have associated with your McDonald's app, but you want to choose the bottom option, which is add payment method. If you're going to be adding in your Chase Freedom Unlimited credit card, I'm going to click there now, All right? I went ahead and click there. And then here on this screen, it's the enter payment card information. McDonald's is asking for the full 16 digit credit card number number along with expiration date, security code, and billing zip code for my Chase Freedom Unlimited credit card. I'm going to go ahead and enter all that information in off screen now. All right, so I went ahead and entered in all of the required information. Next, this orange button pops up right here in the middle. It's called save. I'm going to go ahead and click there now. All right, I went ahead and clicked there and it looks like, yes, you can add your Chase Freedom Unlimited Visa credit card into the McDonald's app as a payment method. If you are not able to add your Chase Freedom Unlimited Visa card into the McDonald's app for some reason, be sure to leave a comment below let the rest of us know why that might be but as far as i can see it looks like it should not be an issue for you at all so hopefully you found that video useful if so click thumbs up and i hope to see you on the next one thanks again for watching